Hola amigos, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything you need to know before you visit Puerto Vallarta in 2023. So let's get started. High season in Puerto Vallarta. This starts around mid-November to about the end of March and if you are planning to visit any of these months just keep in mind this is our super busy time of the year. Hotels, Airbnbs and tours do book up quickly and the price for these will be a little bit higher than normal. Low season in Puerto Vallarta, this would be September and October and this is due to the rainy season which I will explain in a little bit and also due to all the kids going back to school. Rainy season in Puerto Vallarta, this starts around June to October. However, daily intense rain is only August, September and about mid-October. I have a complete video talking all about this that you guys can click on here. Requirements to enter Mexico. If you're coming from the US, you are required to show your passport to fill out a declaration form that is given to you by the airline on your way to Mexico and no longer are you required to fill out the tourist card. This is an updated information and if you are visiting from another country and you want to know what is required from you, you can head on over to ivisa.com. They will give you all the updated information you need. Once you arrive to the Puerto Vallarta airport, you're going to go through immigration, you're going to go through customs like normal. Once you get out of customs, you are going to pass through this little room that I call the trap zone. It's full of a bunch of people that will try to get your attention asking you if you need a taxi, if you need transportation to your hotel, if you want a free tequila shot. It's just basically to try to get you to go see some timeshares. If you are definitely not interested in this, then I recommend you guys don't even make eye contact, don't stop to talk to them, and just pass by as quickly as possible. Where to exchange your money to pesos? Definitely do not do it at the airport booths because they give you a very low rate. Instead, use the bank ATMs that are located right as you are about to exit the airport. There's a bunch of them and they give you a way better exchange rate. You can also do the same thing throughout Puerto Vallarta. Just make sure it's a bank ATM and not just a regular ATM. These will give you the best rates. You can also go to any bank like Banco Azteca, Banregio. They are located in the tourist areas. These will all give you the best rate. Transportation from the airport. The only vehicles that are allowed and that have permission to go into the airport are designated taxis and private vehicles that maybe you have already rented or paid for in advance. Okay, the taxi rates will be located there inside the airport and there's only three companies. They're all around the same price. They are going to be a bit more expensive if you get a taxi in the airport. If you guys want to save a few bucks on a taxi outside of the airport or even get an Uber or even the bus, you will have to um, exit the airport, head on over to the left all the way to the end of the building where you will see a pedestrian bridge. You will cross this bridge to the other side of the highway. Once you get out of the bridge, you will see some taxis already there waiting for people. This is where you can call an Uber or even get the bus. Buses and PV are another way to get around. Very affordable and reliable. They only charge 10 pesos to get around all town of Puerto Vallarta and all the way to Boca de Tomatlan. If you want to rent a car in PV, I have a whole video that you guys can go check out. It's a great option if you are planning to do a bunch of things or traveling to other little towns nearby. Do you need cash or can you pay with a credit card? Yes, you will need cash if you're going to be tipping, if you're going to be using a taxi, if you're going to be buying anything from any street vendor, food, souvenirs, gifts, and other different miscellaneous items you will need cash cash is king in pv so if you show cash you might even get a better deal for many things is puerto vallarta safe yes it's a very safe city there is no area or neighborhood that i would say stay away from during the day and at night time you should be very comfortable walking throughout the whole city with no problems 
where to stay in PV. So there's several neighborhoods. We're going to start by talking about the marina. This is pretty close. I would say about a five minute drive to the airport. There's plenty of restaurants here. We have a variety of condos as well as freestanding homes. There's also a golf course here. It is not walking distance to downtown or the romantic zone. You would have to get a taxi or an Uber, but it's a quick, I would say 10, 15 minute drive depending on traffic. We also have the Versailles neighborhood as well as the Fluvial neighborhood, which are pretty much right next to each other. It's more of a local neighborhood, bigger houses, some condos close to Costco. And there is some really, really good places to go eat at, especially in the Versailles neighborhood. It's more like a foodie neighborhood. It is about a 10 minute or so drive for the nearest beach and it's also about a 10 to 15 minute drive into downtown in the romantic zone area and the most popular neighborhoods to stay at is the central or downtown area and the romantic zone or zona romantica these are right next to each other this is where there's a lot of things to do there's restaurants bars clubs shops and everything is at walking distance the only thing to note about the downtown central area is that a lot of the streets are very narrow it's, there's hardly any parking anywhere and some of the streets are very steep the romantic zone area is a little bit more flat it's the same thing there's hardly any parking there this is the neighborhood known for being lgbtq friendly difference between staying in nuevo nayarit and puerto Vallarta. So before this area was called Nuevo Vallarta and even if you look at it at the map it still shows it as Nuevo Vallarta so a lot of people thought it was still part of Puerto Vallarta but it's actually not it's in the neighboring state of Nayarit and from any of the all inclusives to the Malecon it's usually around a 1 hour drive okay so this area is very popular cuz there's a lot of all inclusive and a lot of you guys stay and book those hotels and you're staying in this area which is now called Nuevo Nayarit just keep in mind if you're planning to do a lot of sightseeing in Puerto Vallarta a lot of tours they're all mainly in Puerto Vallarta. You're going to be spending a lot of time traveling back and forth. It might not be such a great option to stay in that area. If you're just planning to have a very chill, relaxed vacation, just stay in your all-inclusive resort, then you're going to be okay. But just to clear it up, this is not part of Puerto Vallarta. It's still about an hour away. It's pretty close to the airport in Puerto Vallarta, but not as close to the other areas cobblestone streets in pv make it a little difficult to walk especially if you do not have comfortable shoes that's a come i highly recommend if you're gonna wear sandals they be comfortable or tennis shoes because a lot of people fall and twist their ankle and we don't want that to happen to you on your trip what to wear on your trip to pv this is an outfit that I just gathered together pretty much shorts you can wear year round here uh nice uh, tank top or t-shirt fan this is very essential in the summer months when it's gonna be super hot in most places will not have ac sunglasses sunscreen and a hat also bug spray i recommend year round pants during the winter months when it's a little cooler at night you can also wear dresses i don't recommend high heels due to all the crazy cobblestone streets and pretty much i would just say wear anything that's comfortable and casual here where to go see a doctor for anything that is not urgent I highly recommend you guys go check out medicine clinics there's several throughout and for less than five US dollars you can go see the doctor no appointment is necessary and they speak Spanish and English beaches in Puerto Vallarta which ones do I recommend so basically I'm gonna recommend anything that is south of PV starting with Conchas Chinas all the way to Misma Loya Beach all these beaches are way more nicer clearer and calmer than the ones in town if you guys want a cooler adventure, I highly recommend you guys get a water taxi. You can get one in Boca de Tomatlan, at the Muertos Pier, or even at the marina to take you to those beaches that are only accessible by boat like Yelapa, Las Animas, and Quimixto.
This is your complete guide to everything you need to know before visiting Puerto Vallarta. I hope this video was super helpful and if it was, leave me your comments, your suggestions or any other questions below and I will be answering them. Don't forget to subscribe as I will keep you guys updated on any new events, news, things to do and much more. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.